Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So far, we've been looking at Amazon PPC strategies that can help you experience explosive growth on Amazon as a seller. We've talked a lot about product attribute targeting or PAT and enhanced auto targeting or EAT in the last two videos. So you might want to check them out before diving into this video. This video is actually the third part in the series. So make sure you check part one and two before coming to this one. So far, we've learned how to create part ad groups. We've also identified what each ad groups are and why they are so helpful for you as a seller on Amazon. In the last video, we ended the conversation by talking about how to create a structure for your EAT ad that's scalable and easy to maintain. The first step is to have proper campaign structuring using EPBA. And then once you've set up your core sets of campaign, which are the exact phrase, broad and auto, that is the EPBA, then you add your part campaign. Now, a part campaign has four ad groups, namely def, asin, brand, and cat. All right, now let's get into each of these terms. I will begin with defensive. The defensive ad group is one of the most important ad groups and will definitely give you the most bang for your buck. The goal of this ad group is to buy all the possible real estate up for sale on your listing. This means that you have to ensure that any product you're advertising targets your entire catalog as well. In the defense ad group, you're targeting individual products or more specifically, your own brand and your own products. Now to do this, you'd have to enter all the assets needed manually. You can copy and paste for sure, but the point is you have to do it manually. There's nothing that's going to be generated for you. There is no automatic setup for it. Now, when setting up your defensive ad group, remember to target every single asset in your catalog, especially if you're selling one brand per account. Don't forget the parent assets as well. It might not necessarily get you a sale, but it's important to make sure you target parent assets all the same. You also want to target assets of related videos as well as assets of review videos as well. It might be a surprise to you, but videos on Amazon actually have assets just like products. So any video you click, whether in a listing or in a review, it comes with an asset attached. So make sure you target those assets. You want to target your own videos and video reviews as well as videos and video reviews from your competitors. And now here's the end game with defensive ad groups. When you target yourself using this defensive strategy, you get a high level of customer retention. Of course, you'd have to pay to get people's eyes to your listing, either through Amazon PPC, Facebook advertising, or Google ads. But these strategies do not specifically help with customer retention. Because here's the thing, you can't control what Amazon shows on its platform. So on your listing, they could advertise other products in the different sections available for that on your page. Ideally, therefore, your goal should be to remove all of these distractions from your page. But since you can't do that because you can't control Amazon posts, then you can at least ensure that the only distractions around your listing are your own products. This is where the defensive ad groups come in. So even though you have to pay to be featured on the sponsored products related to this item section, because you're targeting yourself and therefore increasing your customer retention, you find that you'd also end up in the customer who viewed this item also viewed section as well. Do keep in mind though that the customers who viewed this item also viewed section is purely organic. There's no way for you to pay to get into this section. It has to be that visitors on a particular listing keep clicking on those products over and over in a loop. And then those products that are repeatedly clicked on then get to be featured in the customers who viewed this item also viewed section. Besides the customers who viewed this also viewed section, there's also the customers also shopped for section. And it is an entirely organic section like the customers who viewed this item also viewed section. <sighs> That's a tongue twister. But by targeting yourself through the defensive ad group, you will be able to increase your customer retention, which could land you spots on each of these organic sections. Now, let's talk about the asin. This is an offensive ad group, quite different from the defensive ad group that we just discussed. It's very similar to an exact match campaign because you are also targeting individual products. Now, when doing that, Amazon is going to suggest a number of products to target based on your own product type. And you have to select all the suggested products offered to you by Amazon for this ad group to work. When it comes to placing a bid, it's better to use 80% of all the bids you're using at the defensive ad group level. That said, it's very important that when creating the asin ad group, you negate your brand at this level. So go to the negative targets at ad group level, select exclude brands, and then exclude your brand and all the products you are bidding on at the defensive ad group level. 
This technique is known as search term isolation and it saves you money on the EPBA settings. And you can also adapt the technique at the product targeting level as well. The third ad group is the brand ad group. It's a bit of a research ad group comparable to a phrase campaign. What you're targeting here are all the brands Amazon suggests to you after telling Amazon what products and assets you want to target. For each category, select all the brands Amazon suggests, which is usually about 15 number per subcategory. So for each of the subcategories, select all 50 brands and then you can further refine them with the four different filters or refinements as Amazon calls them. The first refinement is called the higher price, lower rating bid. With this bid, you're specifically targeting brands that have a higher price point than the product you're targeting, but a lower star rating. So in other words, they are unjustifiably expensive for the quality that they offer. And the chances to convert on a product that is more expensive, but of a lower star rating than yours are very high. So the bid for this ad group should be 100% of your defensive ad group. The second refinement is lower price, lower rating bid. So if you're targeting products that are cheaper and of a lower star rating than yours, here chances of conversion are lower because though these products are of lower quality, they are also less expensive, which means that people would still want to consider getting them. So bid just 80% of your defensive bids here. The third refinement is higher price, higher star rating. Now, products in this category are typically luxury products, and so they tend to have a higher perceived value. So for this refinement, use a lower bid than you used for the previous two. 60% of a defensive ad group is a pretty good idea. And the fourth and final refinement is the lower price, higher star rating. Here, chances are obviously pretty slim. Excellent products that sell at affordable prices are naturally hard to beat. But all the same, there's no reason you shouldn't bid because, well, you never know. So here you might want to do just 40% of your ad defense group. And with all the refinements done, it's time to add the negative targets. If you have any questions from any of the videos in this series so far, please feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and we will do well to answer them as quickly as possible. As usual, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so you can catch all the videos in this series as well as other informative content on how to become a truly successful Amazon seller. If you hit the notification bell, you get notified as we drop new videos. So if that's something that you'd want, then please go on right now and hit that bell. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.